What's up, my beautiful people? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Inspiring Charm, providing you one inspiration at a time. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Please remember to subscribe, turn on the notification bell, so you will be notified whenever I post a new video. For those of you who are coming back, thank you very much for your support. I do appreciate it. Good morning, beautiful people. Today, I'll be making fried chicken for you. But to get that going, I'm going to cut and blend all my seasoning together to season my meat so guys in my blender cup i have onion bell pepper thyme scallion pepper ginger and you name it so i'm gonna blend this to get a nice paste to put over my chicken so that when i fry my chicken you'll have the best fried chicken ever so my um, seasoning is all blended so what I'm going to be doing now I'm going to wash take off the skin off my chicken and clean it up and come back with it all right guys my chicken is now washed and I'm ready to season this so you notice I took off that slime that is always on the meat when you take out that skin so that causes it to have that raw smell to it so i remove that so to this i'm going to add one tablespoon of grace or maggie all purpose seasoning or you can use chicken seasoning anyone is okay then i'm going to be adding half tablespoon of salt and to that mixture I'm going to be adding my puree green um, ground seasoning. So I'm going to be adding two tablespoons of that. So that's one. That's two. For the additional seasoning that is left in your blender, you can put that in a jar and store it in your fridge. Now, guys, I'm going to go in and I'm going to rub this all together. You're gonna let rub this in and let it marinate for a few um could be up to an hour some of you can leave it overnight it depends on your liking so i'm gonna put this in my fridge cover it put it in my fridge and i'm going to let it sit for about one hour then i come back and show you my frying process this good is it's now time to fry my chicken so to get that started i'm gonna Put some oil in my pot you want to cover the bottom of your pot just with enough oil and to that I'm gonna add one pepper then I'm gonna let it heat up while I prepare my fried chicken butter to sorry butter I'm going to add two cups of flour to my bowl one tablespoon of baking powder half tablespoon of salt half tablespoon of black pepper and mix that thoroughly now you're going to set this aside and then you i'm going to make a water mixture as well so to my other container, I'm going to be adding two cups of water. And to this, I'm going to be adding one tablespoon of baking powder. Mix thoroughly to ensure that it is dissolved properly. Good. No goodie. Eh? This is the best fried chicken you're, you're going to ever have better than KFC so my chicken has been marinating for the past two hours so now I'm gonna get going this is where you get your hands dirty so I'm gonna place this in the floor then into the water back into the floor I'll do this for all. The 
this is when you want to put on your apron because doing fried chicken get really messy now I'm gonna add this to my oil now you can see that my oil is ready Now my chicken is in the pot. I'm going to cover this and let it fry for about five minutes. Then I turn and you, you allow your chicken to fry up for about 18 minutes, turning them twice. So when you coat your chicken, remember we don't have on any skin on our chicken. So when you coat it, you want, to be, want it to be as fluffy as this. So you'll get that crispy bite when you bite into it. Now guys, I'm going to go in and turn my chicken and you can see that they're getting golden brown. Look at that. Look at that. Turn all of them and allow them to fry for another 10 minutes. That one. So, guys, I'm going in for the final turn. And then I'm going to allow this to fry about five more minutes. The reason why reason I covered the pot is to allow the chicken to soak through thoroughly. So that when you, you, you stick it like that, you don't see any bloody water coming out of it. And ensure that when you're frying your chicken, you use fresh oil. That is what is going to give it that golden brown, nice color, not burnt color. Remember to like, share, comment, and leave it below so I know what you're thinking. So after 18 to 20 minutes, my chicken is all done. And now I'm going to take this from the pot and I'm going to put them on um, a plate with paper towel to drain the excess oil. You want to know if your chicken is fully soaked, you just pierce the fork through it and if nothing comes out, you know that your chicken is cooked. Look how crisp those look. So now guys, you have fried chicken, crispy fried chicken without skin, very tasty. I'm going to plate this for you so you see my finished product. There you have it guys, Ooh, crispy fried chicken, so good, so delicious. Remember to like, share, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you try this and I'm telling you, you won't be disappointed. It is the best. So here you have my fried chicken. Serve with rice and peas, sweet potato, and some blanched veg. Guys, I hope you enjoy it. Bye for now. It's your girl, Inspiring Charm.